In this video, we will show you how to set up and use your FIFA Sheet Go for the first time. Unbox. Open the packing box and take out the products and accessories in turn. App Download. You can scan the QR code to download the FIFA app. When using FIFA Sheet Go for the first time, it is recommended to fully charge the underwater ROV and remote control to ensure enough battery power for the following operations. Underwater ROV Charging Method 1. Use the ROV charger to charge the underwater ROV. Please align the black alignment key with the Q interface small cut to prevent pin damage during connection. When the charger LED is red, it means charging. When the charger LED turns green, it means the charging of the underwater ROV is complete. Underwater ROV Charging Method 2. Use the Q Energy Station to charge the batteries of the underwater ROV. Turn the ROV upside down, press the locking buttons on both sides, and push the battery to detach it one by one. Attach the batteries to the energy station before connecting it to the underwater ROV charger for charging. The energy station will display the charging status. The energy station is designed with two Type-C ports for charging of the remote control. During outdoor tasks, the batteries on the ROV can also be used as a temporary power source to supply power to the HDMI box. After charging, align the battery's locking tabs to slots on the battery track. Push the battery to hear a clicking sound, indicating the installation is complete. Hot swappable technology allows for the seamless replacement of a single side battery without shutting down the ROV, making it return to a fully charged state. Plug the connector of the remote control charger into the charging port at the rear of the remote control. At this time, the power LED of the remote control blinks. When the power LED is blinking in red, it means that the power of the remote control is lower than 30%. When the power LED is blinking in yellow, it means that the power is 30% to 70%. When the power LED is flashing in white, it means that the power is 70% to 100%. When the power LED is always on white, it means that the remote control is fully charged. Add on mounting. Please keep the ROV turned off before installing accessories. Top Accessory Installation Remove the protective cover for the top accessory interface on the ROV and keep it properly. The dual knot quick release plate is used for top accessories. Take the installation of the Q camera. As an example, rotate to lock the dual knobs of the quick release plate. Secure the accessories connector to the top Q interface on the ROV. Please align the black alignment key with the Q interface small cut to prevent pin damage during connection. Rotate to tighten the connection to complete the installation. Bottom Accessory Installation Remove the protective cover for the bottom accessory interface and keep it properly. The single knot quick release plate is used for bottom accessories. Take the installation of the robotic arm as an example. Secure the front hook of the quick release plate into the drain holes on the ROV. Rotate to unlock the single knob, align and insert it into the bottom recess. Then rotate to lock the single knob. Secure the accessories connector to the bottom Q interface on the ROV. Please align the black alignment key with the Q interface small cut to prevent pin damage during connection. Rotate to tighten the connection to complete the installation. Usage of manipulator. Ensure the ROV is turned on, then change the remote control gear to A mode. Use the right dial to open and close the claw. Connection. Put the safety knot on the rear fin of the ROV and lock it. Ensure it is no gap between the two rings. Then connect the ROV plug to the ROV tether port. Please align the black alignment key with the Q interface small cut to prevent pin damage during connection. Tighten the bolts after connection. When the bolts are squeezed to the O-ring, it means that they have been tightened. Wrap the 3.5mm head around the bottom bracket of the remote control and tie a knot. Then insert it into the remote control. Power on and off. Please make sure that the LED light button at the remote control is kept in the off before power on. Press and hold the on-off button for 5 seconds to turn on the remote control and the ROV. And the power LED of the remote control will turn on clockwise. When the power and lock and unlock buttons are lit, indicating the connection is a success. When you need to turn off the remote control and the ROV, press and hold the power button for 5 seconds again. Connecting smart devices. 
Check the SSID on the back of the remote control, which is the Wi-Fi connection name. Open the Wi-Fi setting interface of the smart device. Find the SSID and connect it. The factory default password is 123-456-7890. After connecting the Wi-Fi, open the FIFISH app, and the connected model will be displayed at the interface, and the connection status at the lower left corner of the app shows connected. Android system users can click connect when the prompt. The current Wi-Fi cannot access the internet. Do you want to continue using this Wi-Fi? Pops up. Simply click use to proceed. Press the unlock button on the back of the mobile device bracket to make the clamp pop up. And then put the mobile device on the bracket. Push the clamp to fix the mobile device. Firmware update. If the smart device detects an inconsistency with the firmware version of the ROV, the app will prompt to update the firmware. Tap to upgrade. Click firmware update, and the app will start to check the new firmware version. After the check is finished, click confirm to start upgrading. Note, please do not turn off remote control and ROV. After the update is completed, click sure and return to the app homepage. Calibration demo. As the different actual conditions in different places, in order to ensure accuracy of the sensor inside ROV, FIFISH officially suggests that the sensor calibration of ROV should be carried out before each dive. In the app interface, click the settings icon, enter the calibration menu, and click Gyro Axi Calibration. Go with app prompt, firstly place the ROV horizontally, then click the start button. Secondly, place the ROV vertically, then click the next button. After being prompted to complete the calibration, click the finish button to complete Gyro Axi Calibration. Then click Mag Calibration. Click Start button. Firstly, rotate the ROV horizontally clockwise for two rounds according to the app prompt. Then click Next. Secondly, rotate the ROV vertically counterclockwise for two rounds. And then click Finish button to complete the calibration. Pre-dive preparation. Please operate in an open area free of obstacles and with good visibility. Do not turn on the motors and LED lights when the ROV is in the air. Before diving, check whether the tethers connector are dry and whether Q interface and tether port of the ROV covers correctly and securely seal. Hold the rear fin for deployment. Please put the ROV in the water with depth of more than 0.5 meter. First dive, take the American UAV control mode as an example. When the ROV is in the A mode, the left dial controls the ROV to pitch up and down. Rotate the dial to the right to control the ROV to raise its head. Rotate the wheel to the left to control the ROV to lower its head. Pushes the left stick up to control the ROV to float up. Push down, control the ROV to dive. Push left, control the ROV to turn left horizontally. Push right, and control the ROV to turn right horizontally. Pushes the right stick up to control the ROV to move forward. Push down, controls the ROV to move backward. Push left, controls the ROV to translate left. Push right, and controls to translate right. When the ROV is in the mode S, rotate the right dial inward to control the ROV to roll clockwise. Rotate the dial outward to control the ROV to roll counterclockwise. The LED button in the front right of the remote control has three gears. When it is off, the LED lights are off. When it is in the first gear, the LED lights are in the medium brightness. When it is in the second gear, the LED lights are in the maximum brightness. In the operation interface, you can see information such as the current dive depth and water temperature. In the lower right corner, you can see the current posture of the ROV and the relative position between the ROV and the operator. In the A mode, double-click the 3D model to initialize the posture. Remote control. There are three buttons in total on the remote control. Power button. Please make sure that the LED light button at the remote control is kept in the off before power on. Press and hold the on and off button for 5 seconds to turn on the remote control and the ROV. And the power LED of the remote control will turn on clockwise. When the power and lock and unlock buttons are lit, indicating the connection is a success. When you need to turn off the remote control and the ROV, press and hold the power button for 5 seconds again. 
lock button. After putting the ROV in the water, press the thruster locking button on the remote control to unlock the thrusters to make the ROV work. Press the thruster locking button on the remote control again to lock the thrusters to stop the ROV from working. Depth hold button. Press the depth hold button on the remote control. The ROV will maintain a fixed depth whether hovering or moving, improving the efficiency and stability of underwater operations. Press the depth hold button on the remote control again to deactivate the depth hold function. The ROV will be unable to maintain a fixed depth while moving. At the rear left of the remote control, you can switch between the AS and C mode. Attitude mode is designed for beginners. The ROV will not roll in attitude mode. The ROV will stay in same depth moving when depth holding is on. Even with pitch angle, the depth will be the same. Sport mode is designed for skillful pilots. Sport mode will enable the rolling freedom, so, you will access all six degree of freedom of EGO. Mode C is VR Somata Sensory Mode. Firstly, click the VR Somata Sensory Control icon in the toolbox, and then fix the device in the VR goggle. Please note that the white line above the screen needs to be aligned with the groove above the bracket. Secondly, wear the goggle, and then adjust the remote control to mode C to use the VR Somata Sensory Control Mode. In this mode, the ROV will turn with your head and change its orientation accordingly. There are two adjusting sliders on the top of the VR goggle, and move the slider forward and backward to control the distances between the lenses. Move the slider left and right until the images are properly aligned. App Features Click Connect to access the app interface. The top right corner of the interface will display the control mode, temperature, connection role, control preference, Wi-Fi connection status, and the battery status of the ROV. The camera settings will display ISO sensitivity, shutter speed, white balance, exposure value, resolution, and memory card information. Click more to access settings for ISO sensitivity, white balance, exposure value, resolution, shutter speed, distortion correction, real-time resolution, and real-time bitrate. Click the photo and video button to switch modes. In photo mode, click the shutter button to take pictures. In video mode, click the recording button to start recording. During recording, click the photo icon to take pictures while recording. Click the recording button again to stop recording. In the photo mode, press the photo button of the remote control to take pictures. Press the recording button to switch to the video mode. In video mode, press the recording button of the remote control to start recording. Click the recording button again to stop recording. Press the recording button of the remote control to switch back to photo mode. Depth icon will display the real-time depth of the ROV. Click the image flipping icon, and the ROV will perform a 180 degrees flip, enabling operation with the bottom facing upward. Click the toolbox icon to check the ROV's standard features and accessory options. AI Vision Lock Enable the Vision Lock functionality. Click the Activate button, select the underwater target, and click the Dynamic Locking button. The ROV will resist currents in all directions automatically and lock onto the selected target for shooting flexibly. Mission Log Enable the Mission Log functionality. Click the Recording button, select the desired resolution for recording and start recording on the app. Auto take pictures. Enable the automatic picture taking functionality and set the shooting interval and quantity accordingly. Click the start button to commence long-term observation of underwater targets. Assisted driving. Enable the assisted driving functionality to set the ROV navigation path, speed, and duration. Click the Run button to free up your hands and improve the inspection efficiency. Pitch Angle Enable the Pitch Angle functionality. The corresponding pitch angle will be displayed on the app interface when the ROV pitches, helping the operator understand the ROV's orientation. 3D Posture Enable the 3D ROV's Attitude functionality, and the 3D model icon at the bottom right corner will provide real-time feedback on the ROV's posture. In the A mode, double-click the 3D model to initialize the posture. Compass Enable the compass functionality, and the bottom right corner will display the ROV's heading angle and the operator's direction, helping the operator understand the ROV's position. 
When the underwater ROV is mounted with accessories, you can activate the corresponding accessories and adjust related parameters in the toolbox. Click the settings icon in the upper right corner. The information icon allows for setting the connection roll, depth, and temperature units. Corresponding watermarks could be enabled or disabled accordingly, and version information for the app, remote control, and more are also accessible. The remote control icon allows for adjusting the operational mode, propulsion curvature, and LED light curvature. American, Japanese, and Chinese ROV operational modes are accessible within the operational mode section, and the same applies to the UAV operational modes. The operational mode can be customized accordingly. Propulsion curvature allows for adjusting propulsion of the ROV to customize and adjust the ROV's thrust power. The LED curvature allows for adjust the brightness of the ROV's LED lights. Calibration of the gyroscope, accelerometer, and magnetometer is accessible within the calibration settings, and the same applies to restarting of the ROV. Additionally, the internal temperature, humidity, and MOS temperature of the ROV's main body are also accessible. The camera storage status is within the camera icon, and formatting and factory settings are also available. Retrieve. When used for the first time, it is recommended not to control the ROV to dive too far. When you need to retrieve the ROV, please operate the ROV to float to the surface. After confirming the position of the ROV, operate the ROV to return. In the process, it is recommended to retrieve the tether at the same time to avoid entanglement. Data copy. Enter the homepage of Fifish app, click Media, then press Device. You can view the photos and videos, and click to review. Press for seconds to select the materials you want to download. Click Start and then download them to your smart device or remote control. After complete downloading, the interface will be automatically folded up. Please make sure that your remote control has an SD card inserted if you want to copy them to the remote control. Maintenance. For extending the service life of the ROV, Fifish officially recommends that the motor should be maintained after each dive, especially after use in seawater. Prepare a basin or bucket and fill it with fresh water. Connect the ROV, and when it is turned on, please press the depth hold button on the remote control. Please note that there is no need to unlock the thruster during the maintenance. Please ensure that the thruster locking button is in the lock state. Completely immerse the ROV in the fresh water and ensure each thruster is immersed in the water. On the home page of Fifish app, click the help button and select maintain. After entering the thruster maintenance interface, click start. At this time, the thrusters of the ROV start to run slowly for automatic cleaning. The ROV can be pressed with heavy objects to ensure the thrusters are immersed in the water. The automatic maintenance will last for about 10 minutes. If you need to finish manually, click the stop button. When the thruster stops running, the maintenance is completed. Quick mounting modules, motor replacement, remove the two securing screws outside the duct of the thruster, loosen the four securing screws on the back cover of the thruster. Next, lift the motor back cover and loosen the one securing screw inside. Remove the old motor to complete the detachment. Install the new motor into the duct and ensure alignment with the screw holes. Tighten the internal securing screw next. Put the back cover back on and tighten the four securing screws. The last step is to tighten the two external securing screws outside the duct to complete the installation. Camera and LED light replacement. Remove the protective cover of the top Q interface. Remove the protective cover of the bottom Q interface next. Detach the two batteries at the bottom of the ROV. Then, remove all marked securing screws from the bottom covering of the ROV to detach it. Loosen the two marked securing screws at the rear of the ROV. Remove the marked four securing screws near the motor next. Open the upper covering of the ROV and remove the front cover. Remove the four securing screws of the camera to detach the old camera. Next, ensure alignment with the SD card slot and screw holes before installing the new camera. Install and tighten the four securing screws of the camera to complete the installation. LED light replacement. 
Remove the two securing screws of the LED light, and disconnect the cable from the LED light to the ROV's main tank to remove the old LED light. Reconnect the cable from the LED light to the ROV's main tank. Next, place the cable inside the tank. Install and tighten the two securing screws of the LED light to complete the replacement. Shell installation. Align and secure the two LED lights to the ROV's front cover before installing it. Install and tighten the four mark securing screws near the thruster. Tighten the two mark securing screws at the rear to finish installing the upper covering. Align the bottom covering with the screw holes before press it gently. Next, install the marked securing screws on the bottom to finish installing the bottom covering. Install and tighten the protective cover for the bottom Q interface. Install the two batteries of the underwater ROV first. Install and tighten the protective cover for the top Q interface next to complete the installation. The above is the first use introduction of the FIFA Go. Thank you for watching. Thank you.